Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bethroars, where you can get some more exclusive content. You can get early access to my podcast and you can find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. This guy, he's just a legend. Let's give it a listen. Here's some new escape music for ya! <laughs> oh, it's such a classic! As soon as you hear that chord progression... And the bass line. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight It's just so easy for him. Now his voice is mega, mega high set. It's so naturally well balanced. I can't find any reports anywhere of vocal lessons or anything like this. It is just naturally well balanced. And some people, annoyingly, but the rest of us just have that, this balance and ease. And it is because his voice is higher than most people. It's somewhere between a tenor and an alto. It could be defined as a countertenor, although it doesn't have that lightness and tone that often countertenors have. Just a I love these scoops. Born and raised right here in Houston. <laughs> so cheesy. Look how he's modifying his vowels night. Relaxed tongue, relaxed jaw, relaxed neck, relaxed. Now, this guitarist you see here was in Santana as well. See that tone you hear there? On and on. He's got this forward placement that you will get if you try out wah, wah, wah. He isn't putting too much breath through. Often, people's mistakes are that they go on and on and they put loads of effort into it. It isn't about putting as much breath through often as you might think. You just need a nice, steady breath here. Now, one of the things is, you know, you do just have to have a mega high set voice to have this ease around here. Although it is trainable in terms of getting a mixed voice, this transition between head voice and chest voice. One of his main influences was Sam Cooke. And you can kind of hear that in the way that he has this fantastic upper register, this fantastic mixed voice. He really, really has taken on these aspects of soul and technique. Again, really open. And using the concerts at the end, light, really putting that T on the end. Okay, so this like little side head thing. Night. Just to be aware, he's doing it for a bit of performance, looking like it's hard work. However, often if you have yourself at a bit of an odd angle like this, it can hinder a little bit. So do check when you are singing and you're practicing it first, at least unless it becomes super easy for you, then make sure that you've got this posture because at first if you're squeezing into things, it's not gonna help <laughs> at all. When you get it nice and easy, you can add these kind of performance things in. Mm -hmm. 
so his dad was the co-owner of a radio station and that's what got him into music. And of course, Sam Cooke. He almost sings like a musical theatre singer in that he sings really on the vowels. So, one more time, but has really strong, exaggerated consonants so you can really understand what he's saying. His voice sounds like it is mega trained. It sounds so secure. He's not closing his mouth halfway through a note or anything like that, which is a normal thing that people do. I love how he's playing with the rhythm. Clarity, it's like glass, it's amazing. And this is just iconic. See that with that strong, don't stop, really using that consonant as the attack. He's not making it mega loud. He's going for those consonants to, to give it that clarity, to give it that punch. He's not over singing anything. It's, it's just good singing. Now, these songs are difficult and he had a mad tour schedule. So how did he accommodate for this? He didn't speak in between gigs. Complete vocal rest was something that kept him going, but the schedule did take its toll on him, both vocally and mentally, and he lost his passion eventually, which is really sad. But it's also awesome to see his solo career now, and he's had an amazing career in spite of leaving Journey. I love these, these scoops, well, up to there. In some ways, you don't get that shock from him because his voice is so stable and so solid, you just feel like at ease with it. And he does these amazing things and you're like, cool, it's just there and it feels easy. And I mean, it's just incredible, isn't it? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.